FBI's top agent. Dad, son, what are you doing here? You just saw Chuckoff murder someone. That means he, he's gonna kill me? He's going back undercover. I'm gonna hide you. How you gonna hide a swag big as this? But this time, he's got backup. Damn, boy, you know how this job goes. Oh, you mean like when all your everybody in your crew says like, hey, we're going to go see the, the Justin Bieber movie so we can record that. But then you go and nobody else in the crew does. You mean like, hey, all right, you know what? It happens to everybody. OK, <laughs> yes. shit happens. Hey, right? look, the wheel of fortune spins and sometimes yeah. it lands on you. Let me tell you something. In, in this job, our job is nothing but when you think about it, dodging bullets. True. All right. And when you you can only dodge so many bullets before somebody behind you shoots you dead in the ass. Yeah. And that's what Big Mama's yeah. out there. It's one of those movies. You know how this job is, man. You sit there and it comes uh, once a year. There comes a film which makes you sit back and say to yourself, what the fuck am I doing with my life? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There, there, every yeah. year there's that one film that does that. Marmaduke. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Gulliver's Travel. Yeah. Well, <laughs> there's a lot see, of them. Yeah. We see that one movie where the conditions are just right for feeling that way it's like mm -hmm. it's midnight it's nobody but you maybe one other person is in the theater with you mm -hmm. and you sitting there in the dark and you watching just a shitty movie you something thinking, that's a travesty where yeah. you go know, like everybody who worked on this knew better yeah. and they said fuck it we gonna make some money well, we well, pay. Well, yeah and then you think wow i'm the only asshole who paid for this movie tonight <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well see that was the thing it was it was i thought i was in the theater by myself mm -hmm. and uh after that three people came in it was a guy a, and then this guy was Puerto Rican, and it's Puerto Rican's Afro, who was like big enough to be like another <laughs> another audience member. Because <laughs> seriously, it was like yeah. <laughs> that dude sat next to me, this Puerto Rican mm -hmm. with an Afro, and I was just like, uh, man. It's so I looked at them like, really, y'all y'all paid to come out and see this? It's like mm -hmm. <laughs> and they were having a good time. So yeah. there's an audience out there for for uh, for it's for, for, e for everything. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and the funny thing is, you say it was just the three of y'all in a the theater. The, uh, there is an audience for this movie. And they are right now buying copies of it out of somebody's trunk. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have Martin Lawrence in that trunk too? <laughs> that's where he needs to be put. Well, he's like the one that's selling them. <laughs> hey, got that big mama three, man. God damn, boy, it's just like you know. I look at these movies and you kind of feel embarrassed because it's this kind of movie that makes you want to go out and tell all your white friends, you know, I do, I do not have a, a, a fat suit in my closet at <laughs> yeah, home. Okay, not all black men do this. Yeah, I, I, just, just, just when you think a, a, a black comedian in a fat suit couldn't get any funnier, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they decided to finish off this trilogy now <laughs> of, of, of a movie series that I've never, I mean, I don't, I don't know a single soul who's really seen it, said, ever said they enjoyed it, or even, you know, not, not even talking about it when the movies come out. I, I don't know anybody who's seen this shit. I, I, I have not seen one Big Mama movie, okay? Mm -hmm. I managed you to really haven't about, seen any talking about dodging bullets. Mm -hmm. I, I dodged those, see, maybe, those, that's, maybe you simply don't appreciate. That's why you don't like the third one. Okay, you, don't, you, you, you saw don't the first one, right? The, the, the deep humor. Yeah. Like the, what, the statement that Martin Lawrence is trying to make that with every black man within him has that mama that raised him that's, that's always present in his mind. Okay, I can't finish. This. I, I got you. Man. <laughs> you know, please finish this bullshit that you are spewing right now. I'd, I'd love to see where this is going, Professor. Like, yeah, like, I, I, Leon, I'd love to hear your theory uh, with uh, uh, Tyler Perry uh, right after this. Oh, <laughs> Tyler Perry's just gay. Come in. Uh, no, but uh, I, I, I don't know that. I, I, this, this is a joke site, folks. Uh, the funny thing, what, what I think is funny about the whole Big Mama's House thing is that. Um, I heard something recently where uh, Martin Lawrence kind of alluded to the fact that Eddie Murphy kind of got mad at him for doing that. Like, wow, you're really trying to steal my bit here, huh? The whole wait, wait dressing oh, up in a fat suit. Eddie Murphy got mad at Martin Lawrence. Yeah. So, so wait a minute. I thought this was like a, a chicken and an egg type thing. Which yeah, came first, the Norbit or the Big Mama? Yeah. No, the clumps. The clumps, Oh, yeah. the clumps. The, the Nutty Professor yeah. came first. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. Yeah. God damn, there's a lot of fat. There's <laughs> yeah. a lot of fat black man movies out there. I'm saying that's why. Yeah, it's like it's an ongoing thing with black comedians. That's why I don't know. I don't know. I think it's it, a it, it's, it's it's like the equivalent of like when hot chicks aren't hot anymore. And, and, <laughs> that's and, true. And then they have to do Playboy. Yes. To, to to get recognized again, and I think that's how it goes with some black comedians, where their their comedy is no longer relevant. So what's 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 the thing they have to resort to? <laughs> 
a fucking fat black old chick. <laughs> you, you know, the host, you, you scare me because, because, because you, uh, everything you say sounds true, and that means me and Corey gonna be doing this soon. I know it's <laughs> like <laughs> when we gonna do our spread. Dressed up as a fat black woman doing reviews. <laughs> <laughs> Although you gotta admit, like our, our relevancy ran out a long time ago, so we should have been in fat well, suits already. <laughs> well, you know what? I'll buy a ticket to that show. Uh, yeah, the two the two black uh, bosom buddies. Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> buy, buy a ticket and a, and a crate of rotten tomatoes to throw. Yeah. <laughs> there you go that'll be our show yeah. we just, yeah. we who, just say, who says vaudeville is dead <laughs> <laughs> welcome uh, ladies and gentlemen welcome to uh, 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 ribs and uh, chitlins yeah. <laughs> welcome, welcome to uh, pork rinds and chitlins yeah. <laughs> chitlin circuit theater <laughs> chitlin circuit theater presents <laughs> how them pork rinds uh, chitla, la, Leon <laughs> I don't know Corey how them chitlins <laughs> tell some jokes <laughs> <laughs> I wish you would throw some rotten tomatoes at us because we'll catch every one of them <laughs> We'll eat them. <laughs> we'll be like Pac-Man. <laughs> <That's a show laughs> <going to itself. laughs> but, okay, know, now I'm assuming, and it's a, it's a huge assumption, but I'm assuming there is something of a plot here. If you want to call it that, I, I got it Okay, I got Martin, it right Martin Lawrence is a detective who yeah, goes Martin undercover Lawrence, as, yes. as, as, as Big Mama, yeah, he sometimes re- at a sorority, just sometime in the neighborhood. Well, you know, he always has to be around where there's women. Yes. Because that's for the comedy, because, you know... He always has to hide the fact that he really has a dick. So yeah. this in this one, yes, Martin Lawrence does return as FBI agent Malcolm Turner. As far as I'm concerned, that motherfucker does not deserve that name, Malcolm. No, I know. <laughs> that sounds like a real tough guy name. It does. No, that sounds yeah. like a, like a black exploitation. Yeah, he's hanging hero. out with Briggs and Murtaugh. You know? <laughs> At the bar. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, Malcolm X is just looking sadly from somewhere. Mm-hmm. Or he's eating some popcorn and laughing his ass up at this. <laughs> hey, that's good to find it right there. <laughs> Why didn't I get fat when I was out there marching? And shit? Uh, but yeah, he returns as uh, Malcolm Turner. And this time he's at an all-girl arts academy. Okay. What? Yeah, mm. but see, here's the deal. This time, he drags some other poor ass Negro to this oh, piece of he's shit. Got, he's got a sidekick. He now. got. He has. This time, he has to bring his stepson into the mix. Wow. Yeah. The, the, uh, played by Brandon T. Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. You Br- written, no, you remember yeah, that? Yeah, kid. I remember you that from, boy, uh, right? from uh, Tropic Thunder and uh, uh, Percy Jackson. See, yeah. I, and it, Lottery Ticket. Oh, and Lottery wow. Ticket. Yeah. No, they, they, I, just, no I just gave he, you his whole resume he, right he, there. He, he didn't learn his lesson from uh, Percy Jackson. You, you I guess, also, uh, right? making uh, career decisions. On, <laughs> well, that's what we said. What you know, do. I mean, you know, it makes you look at this and wonder. What's the future for young black men in Hollywood these days? Because we got this boy who was like one of you know. And if you don't remember, he was the real black person in Tropic Thunder, right. not, <laughs> not, not Robert Downey Jr., who was yeah. the fake black person. And yeah, he, he was, was Al Pacino. I, I forget that sometimes. I was like, man, that's the greatest black actor I've ever seen. <laughs> long time, what ever happened to that guy? What, what happened yeah, to him? Look him up on IMDb. Yeah. What else is he? In? It's like that guy from Night of the Living Dead who just never saw again. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it is funny that they, they didn't that was have, him. They should have just had him play War Machine also in the Iron Man movie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Robert Downey money? Jr. do a yeah. double roll. Yeah. Well, now, where, where are you in Hollywood? That's what Hollywood needs is you, Leon. <laughs> Hey, now, look that, look here. Now, nah, man, you need to calm down, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Keep going around telling everybody who you are. Uh, and, and then, you know, he was good in that. And then what's the next thing to do that boy? They put him in a movie. They slap some goat legs on him. Yes. <laughs> and if that ain't good enough, then, you know, they had, to, they had to put him in a fucking fat suit. Right now, we can see the conspiracy in well, Hollywood. Now, now, to be fair, the, his role right after that was to play the, the, the new uh, B-list creep, uh, Chris Tucker. Creep? <laughs> I'm sorry, I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I was going to say C-list and B-list, and they got some mixed up in there but yeah he's a he's a knockoff young version of, of chris tucker of chris, Tuc- chris yeah. tucker baby oh, no. and uh and lottery <laughs> ticket i'm here to shrink after this you realize it right you didn't see in the mind when you was little and i caught you trying on your mother's uh... he promised never bring that up i was putting on a play law 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 you're a difficult child charmaine daisy pierce who are you talking about my great niece and you better start signing like before you scare someone oh right <laughs> In that case, how's this? Sweet low, sweet. Well, you know, it's only a matter of time before Hollywood is trying to put, at this point, every black man in Hollywood in a fat suit. I mean, I'm uh, <laughs> pretty I'm, much. Yeah, no, because you see, they, 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 they got this boy while he was young. Yeah. You know, they got him yeah. before his career really took off. Right now, Will Smith. And Denzel Washington, they're resisting. <laughs> but before they are dead, they will be fat black man or a fat yeah. black woman in some movie somewhere. I guarantee you this. Give it's it all time. a conspiracy. Chris Rock, don't do it. <laughs> you, you, gotta, you gotta hold out. You gotta be that one that says no. <laughs> but so in, in, you got this movie here, man, where really if Martin Lawrence hadn't agreed to do this, this, this is the true nature of a, of a bad 
straight to DVD movie. Mm-hmm. I mean, this this should, this is something that should have never been brought to the screen. Mm-hmm. And I, I just want to know, who are the motherfuckers that like led us to this? Who brought us to this point? We have two of these movies. I haven't seen either one of those. Yeah. But I can only think that from what I've heard about them that they're no much better than what we see here. Leon, he saw the first one for I, some I, reason. I, yeah, I, well. <laughs> blame, my job. blame, yeah, blame. Oh, oh it's job. <laughs> Being a professional. <laughs> I, I went to see the first one. And it's bad. It, it, you know, there's no getting around it. It's just that there's this... I remember something about it to where I was like, you know what? As bad as this is, I actually expected it to be worse, to where it would hurt me and I would leave pissed off. Mm. And I came out of it just going like, I never want to see this again. But I wasn't like, man, fuck that movie. Yeah. Well, you know, but the my second people. One, the the <laughs> second one where I see him doing kung fu in, in a theater or uh, her doing kung fu in some kind of dojo, I was like, there ain't no goddamn way I'm going to see that. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I right, you fire me. I don't, I don't, <laughs> but for some strange reason, you're making me want to see that right now. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm, it was just it was that one clip. I was like, wow, that's all I need to see to know that I will never see this movie. <laughs> okay. It's it, no, it's probably making me angry because maybe if it was the first one, I'd be like, okay, this is bad. But this is one of those movies that, I, you know, I'm not offended by it. I, I, it's mm-hmm. it's not making me pissed. I can just write it off and not even think about it ever again. Mm-hmm. But the fact that we have somehow made our way to a third one just pisses me the fuck off well, for some well, reason. Let, 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 let me say something else to, to blow your mind. When was the last time you saw any movie with Martin Lawrence that you liked? Bad Boys 2? Yeah. How long ago was that? Well, it just seems like yesterday. <laughs> a young Martin Lawrence was not wearing a fat suit and actually being funny. 1994? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, And, and really, I mean, you know, that's okay. That's a him and Will Smith movie, but like a Martin Lawrence-led comedy? Right? You know, I was going to mm-hmm. say Life, but he was teamed up with Eddie Murphy in that. And, and uh, yeah, a Martin Lawrence movie by himself. Uh, Run Tell. No, that was him by himself. That was kind of shitty. Yeah, I, you got me there. Yeah. Bro. Yeah, you. <laughs> He, I mean, he is that, you know, people who love him, they love him from that old TV show. That's, they still like, he still has that charm for them. That's, mm-hmm. Oh, I, I grew up watching that show. I used to love that show. Martin. <laughs> yeah. And so they see him, they, they don't even like hear what he's saying. They just, like, they just hear Martin. Martin. <laughs> they, they hear that theme song they hear yeah. the whole time he's on screen. And, and, and they're just robots. <laughs> Everybody actually like, sat and like watched, they'd be like, Oh, what am I doing with my life? That's a good point you bring up because now I'm thinking, wow, you know, maybe Chris Rock hasn't had so much of a bad career. At least I somewhat remember his movies. Well, the reason why I'm looking at this is because I'm thinking, surely these jokes have had to be repeated because there's, there's only so much that, that, that you can do with doing a riff on Some Like It Hot. Right. You remember sure. the, like mm-hmm. the Tony Curtis, Jack yeah. Lemmon? Yeah. yeah. Where it, Oh, we got to pretend like we're women while we're around other women. I mean, how many times can you fucking do that? Okay, you yeah. know what I mean? It's like, mm-hmm. oh, how and how many times can you do the thing of I'm running from the law in disguise? You know, I mean, whether you be dressed up as a fat black woman or, or a nun mm-hmm. or whatever the fuck. Now, let me ask you this, because in, in the first movie, Nia Long be- became the love interest. Like a lot of it was he was hot into Nia Long, but he's yeah. also his big mama. Is she still in, in the Neil Long said, fuck that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Neil, Neil, Neil Long, when they filmed this movie, Neil Long was hiding out in the jungle somewhere. <laughs> she was in Cambodia or something. She did not want to have nothing to do with this. Because she, even though Brandon T. Jackson is her stepson, she is. <laughs> they, Martin Lawrence at the beginning of the movie does a phone call. Let me speak to my wife. You hear on the other side of the. <laughs> what do you mean she's not available? <laughs> what are you saying that she's at a retreat where she can't talk? <laughs> like, which is pretty much his person. Like, <laughs> like, she don't want had nothing to do yeah. with this she, shit. She yeah. got a better agent? What? <laughs> 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 and like, yeah, man, she didn't want to do this shit. She, I mean, she was in, like, how many of these? Was she in the first one? She's in the first one. Was she possibly in the second one? I don't know. I, I Honestly, I stayed so far away from the second one, I couldn't tell you. Okay. Well, so did Neil Long, apparently. <laughs> at, least, <laughs> at least in this third one, she's not around. So, no, she is not in this. That's probably why they got this dude, Brandon T. Jackson, to be in this. And now... Well, now he now he gets to inherit the franchise and take it over. <laughs> yeah, right. right. Wow. Son of Big Mama. Straight, straight to DVD on that yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to rent that at Redbox. Yeah. You know, we don't see... We're seeing every kind of trite and dull cliche in every one of these genres here you know the the, the i'm dressed like a woman thing the whole i'm running from the from the well, it's the, i'm, a, I'm an old thing. flat black woman 
who's doing making inappropriate comments and doing kung fu with you. Oh, know oh I should she's be able to kicking do. wisdom, you know. Yeah. Even though Martin Lawrence is a man who re- ain't really raised kids before, <laughs> yeah. he's like, oh, let Big Mama tell you about how to date a man. Oh, you don't need him, girl. Oh, let Big Mama do your hair for you. Apparently, he knows how to do hair when he's in this. Fa- this fat suit has magical powers where he really does inherit the knowledge. It's like of a mech an old suit. black woman. <laughs> yeah, he, he, like he, yeah. instead of shooting rockets, it teaches you beauty tips. <laughs> where he can't even raise a son, you know. But somehow he puts on that suit. Girl, you'd be surprised on how Vaseline can do things with your perm. You know it's, like, it's like, really? Yeah. Turns him into Oprah. It, huh? it is a fucking, it is, a, it, you know, it, it just might as, might as well be like the Green Lantern of fat suits because yeah. when he puts this on, it gains magical powers. Right. Yeah. It's like he, he, can, he can all of a sudden do more karate in this. Yeah. He, can, he knows how to take care of women and knows all mm-hmm. about women's products and women care <laughs> yeah. and how to talk to women. Yeah. Um, yeah. And on top of that, it, uh, it, uh, it also changes. It morphs. Yeah. Like yeah. Most of the time, it's foam rubber because you mm-hmm. can see it underneath like the legs and everything. It's all mm-hmm. padding. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the one time, that he has to, like he when Martin Lawrence his big mama is caught in a new drawing class where he doesn't want his son to see this fine ass girl get undressed mm-hmm. and they say well big mama why don't you do it of course only in the movies right yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know big mama yeah, you, because in real life the whole class would have been going no 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 yeah, right. <laughs> oh yeah well the, in real life they would have said this is a class get the fuck out of here you know yeah. what, what are you doing so you Martin Lawrence's you. superpower is that his suit uh, gives him the ability to lose his dick <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah. It's turn, <laughs> so, he, so, so, somehow this foam looks like a real human body when he, when, when he the, most of the time is, is foam and looks like pantyhose but then when he mm-hmm. t- has to take his clothes off mm-hmm. for real because they couldn't coerce him into doing it everybody like yeah big mama let's see what you got <laughs> <laughs> they cut to a scene where it's a whole rubber fat suit, uh-huh. you know, complete with a, a like an ass, and I'm sure that there's a a, a, a fake latex pussy in there too. It's like, Damn. it's like really, I, I'm like, wow, man, I know, I, really I know, wish you hadn't said that. suspension of disbelief, you know, <laughs> I know, I should not be asking for realism, you know, but you know, and then the movie makes you turn around and like say, well, they made three of these, am I the fucking asshole for noticing yeah, this? Right. I mean, am I the one who's like being a dickhead for looking for a little bit of realism here? You know, it's one of those movies like. They don't care what they need to do because there's no real story here. There's right. no real writing. Obviously, it's yeah. like whatever yeah. we need to conveniently, you know, make happen here. Mm-hmm. That's what we do, whether it makes sense or not. Yeah. So Brandon T. Jackson, he's not like a, a old fat black woman. He's like a, a hot chick or sort of like a, a Juana man. I wouldn't even say hot. That's the other thing. A Juana man. What the fuck is <laughs> Juana man? You never heard of Juana <laughs> no, man? No, no, no. Never Juana no. man. Is that some kind of juice I can get? In the store? What is that? <laughs> okay, think of a. Uh, 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 person who's a fat black woman you know uh-huh. wearing a fat suit but they deflate her <laughs> you, know? oh. you get the guy basically it's just a guy black guy in drag oh he, okay he's working okay. his way up to the a, fat a RuPaul? suit RuPaul okay. yeah yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay. yeah. Okay. Okay. except not as pretty <laughs> uh, I learned something new every day so yeah. <laughs> now I, I'm the way this the formula goes on this is okay oh yeah I guess you mentioned it. it's some hot chick that he's into but he can't reveal oh yeah the girl is hot too and uh, her name is Jessica uh, Jessica Lucas Mm-hmm. And I'm hoping now in this movie now Brandon T. Jackson that nigga was like 26, 27 years old. He but he plays this. high school students. Yeah, all he's the time. playing a high school student. Nigga, you old? <laughs> you ain't even from nobody. But uh, the girl, you know, of course, he gets caught in, in compromising positions with the girl where, for no reason, the girl's like, "Hey, you're my new best friend. Let's go shopping." And so, of course, they go into the dressing room, and yeah. he has to figure out a way to get out. And she strips down to bra and panties. Girl is fine, boy. And I'm oh, just hoping that she's. That she's, you know, that that she's legal. Yeah. Because I mean, I'm sitting in a movie. And it's dark. I'm bored. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm, I'm, whipping your dick whip out. out. I whip my dick out. You know, <laughs> yeah. Why to play it around I mean, what, a little bit? What the hell? <laughs> you, you sat through this shitty movie. You deserve it. Yeah, I deserve this. Oh. Yeah. I, I'm, I am owed this. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Past the time a little bit. You know. Yeah. 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 Jerking off inside the theater yeah. of Big Mama. It, it makes you feel any better. I use my elbows instead of my hands. You know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it wouldn't good be twelve. Good enough for, for Pee Wee Herman. Why not you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, Usher come up to you. He's like, yeah. uh, sir, you can't really. What? Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 just, I just want to give you a towel so you can get up out. Yeah, yeah. Slap with my dick. <laughs> get out of here. I'm yeah, I think that's the, that's the headline everyone's looking for. <laughs> yeah, getting caught, getting caught jerking it to a big mama. <laughs> yeah. If it made you feel any better, I was also in a fat suit. No. So you seen it there. Yeah. You know what? You know what, Coach? You're right. That would be the kind of thing where you got busted for that and even Eddie Murphy would be shaking his head. Going, yeah. Like, Freak. <laughs> yeah, I, I was in a fat suit and I couldn't reach it. How about that? <laughs> no, man. I, but yeah, you get those kind of, uh, you know, that, that cliche there too. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it, it, it really. It, it, Is look, Paul Giamatti in this one too? What's Paul Giamatti? He's in the no, first one. No, look, everybody who's done something <laughs> with their lives, anybody who has like, look, anybody who has like, 
hair to wash or clothes to clean, you know, anything. I got to yeah. wash the house, you know, anything besides making this movie. They were off doing it. That first you movie know. was called Paying Your Dues. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it was called to the rest of the acting community. <laughs> you got to go to the grocery store and buy milk or something. Yeah. It's better than being in this film. And Martin Lawrence's last hope. <laughs> but here's the deal. It's like as if they have not covered enough cliches and of, of several genres. Of course, they got to get into... Oh, you know, we, we're working our way up to the talent show, too. <laughs> oh talent my show? God. Well, it's, the, it's the girls' school for arts. Okay. So we get that one scene where Brandon T. Jackson, because in the movie he plays the prodigy. He's a rapper. Shitty rapper, by the way, but a rapper. <laughs> yeah, he wants to be... Uh, uh, Martin uh, Lawrence wants him to go to uh, school, wants him to go to college. He's got, got accepted to Duke. But, of course, he's like, I want to be a rapper. I got this contract to sign. Pops, you know, sign this contract for me. Of course, Martin Lawrence <laughs> like, I ain't signing that shit. Go to school. Until I, you know, but first let me put you in this fat suit <laughs> yeah. and take a steak out. But, yeah, so they go to the school. They have two scenes that you would expect from a, from a scene like this that take place in an art school. You get, we work our way up to the talent show, but you also get, like, the musical number that just comes out of nowhere. Okay. It's like, Martin Lawrence is uh, his son, Brandon T. Jackson. Is he's being harassed by the by, by the the ring leader of the school, who's you know a little bitch, uh-huh. and uh, she's like, you know, everybody who's new here has to show their talent before they eat. Can you sing, dance, or what or whatever? And he's like. Give me the mic. And of course, the whole cafeteria all of a sudden bust out the people dancing on the uh, <laughs> dancing on the tables. <laughs> this girl can sit up here and sing like she's in front of a mic, even though she's not. She's playing the piano. People are making up lyrics right there on the spot. It's like it's bad enough that this is a terrible, shitty movie. It's a bad musical number now too. And then at the end of the movie, of course, he helps out the fine girl with her duet at the and that's. Oh, you, you see where I'm going with man. this. Yeah, you, you have made this so much worse than... No, it, 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 I, was it, like, it, I was like, there's more? What, what, what else do they do? Do, do, do they get the one ring to save them all and take them to Mordor? <laughs> <laughs> and save the rec center while they're at it? And save the rec center too, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, and then take the ring to Mordor. <laughs> oh, oh man. my God. God <laughs> talk about a trilogy. <laughs> oh, man, if the, you know, I have to say... Oh, uh, wait, wait, one quick question. Yes. So is Brandy Jackson, is, is he a cop too? Or is he just Martin Lawrence? He's just Martin Lawrence's son that happens to be caught by the the you know the Russian villain in this who says things like, well, "I mean, this is so, this Russian is so villain? Bad. What? Wait, there's a, there's a Russian from, mob? There's a <laughs> Russian mobster in here who, of course, says things when the when the when the." Uh, when when the uh, uh, the what do you call them uh, the the henchmen mm-hmm. yeah, <laughs> the, the hit guys the lackeys fail uh-huh. when they show up they, you have failed course, me for the last they time. come <laughs> the, well, close he comes back and of course they have to say. You idiots! You let them get away! <laughs> oh my God. Wow! Led by led by Ren. Yeah. Ren you Stimpy. idiots! Yeah. Oh my God! He's in this movie too. That's yeah, awesome. man this 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 is a this is a complete piece of shit, man. I mean, what what I have to tell you? I mean, really, if you're thirteen, matinee, <laughs> matinee, Captain Matinee to the rescue, though. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow, they, <laughs> no, they man, this is. I'm borderlining on giving this a fuck you. Sound like you should. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm ready this, to give it that just from everything this, you just said. I know. This is like, fuck it, man. You know what? This, this 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 is a fuck you. I mean, this yeah. this because the movie it's a straight up fuck you. Only a movie like this can make me feel like I'm a racist. Hey, you you you're <laughs> you fucking you fucking my brain right now just by describing this whole movie. It, uh, yeah, that's which right. I still no, don't this, know what it's about. But yeah. No, this movie makes me is making me feel like <laughs> I, it's about everything. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm up here looking at this like I'm a fucking racist. Now mm-hmm. I'm looking at you know a uh, 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 Martin Short. I mean, no, that's the Jew in the fat suit. Uh, Martin Lawrence. <laughs> uh, <laughs> didn't he? Didn't Martin Short do something? Uh, Jimmy Glow. Oh, Jim, Jim, yeah, Gluck. Jimmy Glick. Jimmy, yeah, okay, yeah, I guess, like that, yeah. I guess it's spreading. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm looking at this, and Martin Lawrence, uh, wow, it's not until you see this movie on the widescreen. Like, he's, he, he's an ugly fat woman, mm-hmm. ugly black fat woman. <laughs> I mean, it looked like somebody put him under elephant's ass yeah. and let the elephant shit on him <laughs> and put a wig and a dress on it. Tell me Medea's looking pretty goddamn hot. <laughs> Medea's looking pretty cool right now looking at this. I'm like, Medea's goddamn f- <laughs> fucking uh, <laughs> is, uh, uh, Holly Berry compared to this <laughs> yeah. shit right here but i'm Ouch. looking at this and i'm just like god damn they truly i don't want to say this being black but mm-hmm. both martin lawrence and brandon t jackson 
look like monkeys in this. Oh, I'm looking at this damn. and I'm just like, I'm like, wow, I really don't. That is racist, sir. Don't you say that about my people? <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, I mean, but see, that's what I'm saying. It fucks with you, man. It fucks yeah. with your so many lovers. Like, how did we get here with this third yeah. one? How do, I, how, why do they keep making these? I mean, the guy, mm-hmm. the Puerto Rican with the afro, I was thinking that was a black dude in the <laughs> next to me. But then look at this and I'm like, God damn, man. I'm looking at this and thinking the most derogatory things. Ugly, fat, black women that look like monkeys because the, the makeup is so unnatural. Oh, no shit. Yeah, yeah. by the way, a million dollar makeup job that they can pull on at any time oh, I pull know. off at any time but that's, 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 you know what it, it's like that with uh, you know remember white chicks oh yeah how, how easily they could go in and out of that hmm. even though it, you know even the simplest makeup even just to put vampire teeth on somebody <laughs> they, they have them in a the chair for six hours oh yeah you know and in this they can just whip it on and whip it mm-hmm. off just uh, at maybe, ease you know maybe they'll explain that in the fourth movie <laughs> i tell you yeah and, and i'm looking at it like you know be one of the offensive things besides me looking at this and thinking oh these are these, look at these monkeys running through this movie. <laughs> Hey, the monkey got into the wardrobe department. <laughs> but I'm looking at this and thinking they tried to actually, they're trying, the one thing I can say that this movie probably listened to the critics on is that it's set in an all girl school. So I think that they, they're trying to get away from whatever misogyny that they were criticized for, for the first two movies, which I didn't see, but apparently there was a lot of complaints about that. So of course, Big Mama's telling the ballerina. There were, there were really there were complaints about like, who, the movie. Who, who, who is complaining so much? That they actually went and saw that fucking movie. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that, that's like complaining because a piece of shit smells worse than you thought it was going to. Yeah, yeah well, that's that's it here. No, Big Mama's trying to tell these women how to be independent. Trying to tell one girl like, girl, eat a hamburger. Don't starve yourself. You know, be like, be a fat ass like Big Mama. Yeah. You know? This is what every woman looks forward to is a guy in a fat suit telling him how to be a woman. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, this is this is the complete piece of shit god damn <laughs> by the way you look now you're looking like a chimpanzee with afro right now no. <laughs> that's what this movie's done to me <laughs> turn Corey into the ultimate racist yeah, exactly. <laughs> next year you'll be burning a cross outside my house next february boss we got him follow him he's wearing a dress man know why they call it the nutcracker like father. Let the games begin. Let's say green. Looks like we all out of green. I got you, green. Uh, oh, hell no. Like son. You must be our new student, Charmaine. Just in time for figure day. Now, if you would kindly just drop a sheet. Say what? 